Hello and welcome back once again to Felix Don't Matters. Now today is very special because it's our first broadcast from our Gainsborough studios. Now we started actually a few minutes ago but then one of the cameras went down, we had a glitch, so we're starting all over again. But that's not a bad thing because if that's the only glitch we get with a new studio I think we'll have done very well indeed. It's, I think it's a great major achievement that Mike and his team have done in getting everything up and running over a weekend. So we're very grateful to them. And I think one glitch only, it's to there to be congratulated. Now, the guest I've got with me today is Sophie Paul Simon, who is very cosmopolitan. And it's very special because she's going to do a weekly program or a fortnightly program based on European music. Now, A, we haven't got a music programme at all, and B, having something from Europe is going to be absolutely incredible. There's nobody else doing it, so it'll be another first for Felix, though. And um, we are going to go over, so welcome once again, Sophie. I'm sorry we've had this glitch, no, no problem, but this happens. Yes. But you're going out live, and... Um, you know, this is one of the, the Felix Stowe firsts because we're the only people in the country who are doing live broadcasting on local television and I think it's quite incredible. And we get some amazing comments. People from all over the world look in. And so, and I understand you've got somebody looking in yourself today. Yes, yes. Your yes, father, I think. I think. Yes. And where is he looking in? Uh, he's in Burgundy today. So, do, do say a quick hello to okay. him. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. ah, you ought to say it in French, of course. Ah, bonjour, Papa. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. But at any rate, we were just talking about your education because you had your baccalaureate, mm -hmm. uh, you went to the Sorbonne and got mm -hmm. your degree there, and then you studied in tourism. Yes. So you've got a very good background. And you speak how many languages? Quite Four steady. languages. Four languages. Yes. That's what are they there? Uh, Italian, French. Yes. Um, English and Spanish. Gosh, that's very good, isn't it? But Spanish with the uh, South America accent, because I uh, I learned Spanish with the South American friends. Oh, I see. Uruguayans. So, yes, um, yes. Oh, well. So but, voilà. so I have the, me, their accent. <laughs> so that means you'll be able to cover the Spanish music yes, in the television exactly. program you're going to host. Yes. And, of course, you have been broadcasting, haven't you? Yes, I'm uh, every Sunday on um, on ICR. Yes. In Ipswich, yes. the community radio of Ipswich. Yes. And I really enjoy that. Yes. And uh, it was um, really by luck that it happened. Because yes. I, uh, when I came to live in England two years ago, I wanted to uh, teach conversational French courses. Oh, that's a very good thing. And yes. someone asked me if I wanted to be part of a workshop yes. in the job, at the job centre in Ipswich. So yes. I said yes. Yes. And that day, the community centre had a stand too. And they asked me if I was interested to do a French-speaking country show. That's a good idea, yes. So I said, yes, of course. Yes. And that's it. And that was the start of it. And you've got a passion for it. Yes, understand. really, really. Well, I'm hoping you're going to get a passion for television as well. I hope so. Because I think <laughs> it's something brand new. We're going to uh, incorporate YouTube, I understand. Yes, exactly. And so we'll get French... Italian, Italian, Spanish, Spanish American, songs, and music, English, all whatever. over the world, yes. and you'll bring that music in. And we haven't got a music program, so I think it can be. So you, we're going to do it. <laughs> but coming back to your origins, mm -hmm. um, your father is, and your parents are still alive, I understand. Yes. And you're living between, or they're living between Paris and Burgundy. Gosh, that's very yes. good. Yes, so it's uh, really nice. Yes. And, um, so my mom is still working. Is she? What does she do? They have a print office in Paris. A print office in yes. Paris, that's very good. So she's still working with my sister. Yes. And I have two sisters, one in Paris and one in Italy. Gosh, that's very in nice. In North Italy. It? So we yes. are uh, all over the world. Yes, places. I think somebody wants to come yes, up and visit Bella, you. Come on. Yeah. I think that's, that's Bella's first appearance on, yeah. <laughs> in our new studio as well. But uh, no, so basically, um, this fits in beautifully with your plans. And because you're living at the moment in Ipswich, aren't No, you're living in Felixstowe, aren't yes, you? Just here. So how did you come to live in Felixstowe? Um, when I came, I moved uh, to Ipswich. Yes. And um, we were looking to live somewhere else in a bigger house. Yes. And uh, we were looking every day. It was very long to, to look for a house. And yes. Hard. And one day, I don't know why, I had a French song in my head for a week speaking about a blue house in a, in a hill. Yes. 
And the day I discovered this house, yeah. blue, blue, in Felix. And it was blue, the house and was yes. blue. Oh, I thought, okay, it's yes. ours. Yes, it's respect to you, in effect. Yes. yes. Well, that's, it was, was to be, obviously. Yes. And you've got a partner. Yes. So it, what's his name? Is uh, Glenn. 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 What does Glenn do? Uh, he's a um, graphic designer yes. and web designer. Oh, is he? Oh, that's interesting. So he's uh, working for loads of companies and also for uh, the print office in Paris. Is he? Oh, yes. gosh, that's very yes. good. Because your father was very, um, uh, really very English in a lot of yes, ways, yes. wasn't he? Yes, My grandfather was born in London. Yes. And he really, really liked Lond uh, English culture. Yes. I think he was more English, really, than French really? in his heart. And yes. he studied in Oxford, in uh, Edinburgh. He had friends, really? English friends. Yes. We still have a friend in Oxford. Yes. And um, he created, uh, he founded... A uh, big school in Marseille. Did he? And it's still on. It's, it's going still on. there, yes. goodness. This is your grandfather? Yes, my yes, grandfather. Gosh, isn't that interesting? They were speaking only in English at home. Yes. And uh, my parents met in Geneva because at that time my grandfather was director of the international school in Geneva. Oh, really? Gosh. So they met and yes, yes. Well, they married and I'm here. Yes. So you've got a very good <laughs> academic background, which, yes, is, yes. which is brilliant. Yes. So uh, with one sister in France, the other one in Italy and me in England, I think... Um, well, you've, it's going to be ideal. Right. You've, you've yes. got, and <laughs> tell me about your musical background. What's made you so interested in that music? Since ever... Uh, I had cousins introducing me to all sorts of music, yes. even when I was a little girl. Yes. And uh, so all my life I was really interested in everything. I had yes. classical music with my father yes. and all sorts of all other musics. Yes. And I discovered, since ever, real passion to everything. Well, that's very good. Related to music. Yes. And uh, it's why I really enjoy radio too, yes. because it's uh, I can... Share, share, share it with everyone. Yes. And I think the television program you're going to do with us is going to be phenomenal because... I can share things You too. can share everything. Mm -hmm. And of course, musical tastes, how do you find the musical tastes abroad and as compared to the English tastes? Uh, the only thing is that um, in France or Switzerland, they are more open to all of all sorts of music. We have uh, international festivals with French-speaking music, uh, Spanish-speaking uh, music, etc. Yes. And um, what I want to do here is to introduce French-speaking countries oh, yes. uh, that they have really good, good songs. Yes. And uh, even yes. Spain or South yes. America or Italy, yes. even Italy. Are these national songs or are they sort of... Know, some are nationals. Rock songs or... Everything. Country. They've got everything. everything. Yes. And you cover the whole gambit. Yes, yes. That would be fascinating. Yes, yes. That really would be fascinating. From soul to uh, rock to oh, a country true. to everything. And are you going to present a, a variation of them or are you going to keep one program just to, say, for instance, soul, another one to reggae? I don't or are you going to do I had an idea, but uh, for maybe three, four shows, I can do a special cover show. Oh, yes. Because I. Uh, and what do you call it? What do you mean by cover show? Hello, it means. Uh, for example, an English song, yes. and um, after that, a French one wanted yes. to sing it in French. Yes. So same music, different lyrics. Oh, I see. Same for Italy. I yes. discovered Italian singing English songs, but with in Italian different, uh, with different, different exactly words. same music, same but music, different, different lyrics, different and lyrics. in the language of the country. Isn't that so interesting? I, think I didn't it's, realize uh, that. So I can put the original one yes. and the cover. It's not interesting. So, I think people will be fascinated with it. And uh, I like that. So I yes. think I can. You can put it over. My, yes. That's right. You've got to transmit a passion, haven't yes. you? They say you should do for a living what you would do for a hobby. So exactly. Uh, and you're I'm going to, to do that. You're trying to do that. <laughs> That's very good. And tell me, what are your hobbies? What do you do as a hobby? I travelled a lot. You've travelled a lot. Yes. That's good. Yes. Where have you been in the world? South America. So, what do you think of South America? At that time, it was 20 years ago, yes. it was absolutely fascinating. I was in Uruguay and Argentina, yes. alone. Yes, but alone? Yes, yes. Goodness, you're so, brave. Uh, so How old were you then? Because you look... 22. 
Gosh, I have uh, I'm 25. Uh, 45, I 25. Actually, yeah, you can ah, be 20. If you only got so 25. Yeah, no, it's 45. 25. Yes. So, uh, and I've been to Canada. Yes. What part of Canada? Uh, French Canada. French Canada, of course. Of course, you've got the language, haven't you? And I have how long you, there. How long you've there? Not a lot. It was for Christmas, really. So, oh, I, I enjoyed Canada at yes. um, Christmas time. Yes. And uh, Syria alone. Oh, Syria, twice. have you? Yes. Have you? And what, why were you in Syria? That well, was... I was invited there, but at the end of the day, they uh, didn't receive me. So I had to find an hotel, and yes. and I stayed ten days alone. And oh. I met new friends, and I came back six, six months after. Six months later. Yes. I had six yes. months in Syria. And what did you think of no, Syria? No, uh, six months. I stayed ten days. I stayed ten days. And six months after, I came back. Oh, I see. Yes. Four months. Oh, I see. You went back for them. another month. Yes. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Was it? Great. What do you think? What was Syria like in those days? Because it was uh, eight years ago. Yes. Uh, it was all right, really. I yeah. really, if I, it's fascinating. Everything mm. is absolutely wonderful to yeah. visit. It's yeah. uh, they have uh, so much culture mixed. It, really, it's absolutely an amazing, amazing country. Yes, because all we see now, you know, it's a, it's a war torn country. Yeah, no, no, really. no, no, no. It's, it's. Uh, I've been to visit Palmyra. It's in the middle of the desert. Yes, and for an hour, you have big. Uh, signs saying Baghdad, Baghdad, really? so I was a little bit worried, but <laughs> yeah. nothing happened really, so, so, so I'm still here, nice. and, yes. but it's great, yes. I, I really enjoy that. Yes. Do you follow politics at all? Do you? Not a lot, not, not a lot. lot. No. You're, you're Maybe a because I'm from everywhere, so I yes. can follow everything. No. But in common with most, we in England, we see the news, I don't think we take it in completely always. No, yeah. I think it's, you have to watch half yeah. an hour. Yes. The trouble is, I think, we're not told everything. Thing. This is the thing. If no. you had the whole picture, exactly. If you don't think. live in a country, yeah. I think yes. you, well, you cannot understand very well what can't. is happening. And the different cultures. What's important for one culture is not for another. It's not one. for another one, and you no, can't exactly. you can't marry the two up. Exactly. Unfortunately, exactly. this is where a lot of politics go mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. But uh, but coming back to you know uh, the radio. Mm -hmm. What are your plans for Felix Stowe Radio now? Uh, to do, if it's possible, the same as I'm doing for RCR. Yes. So it's mixing. The ICR is the Ipswich Radio. Ipswich Community Radio, Radio Community, sorry. That's right, yes. And um, so I will try to do the same. Yes. Which is mixing worldwide music. Yes. Uh, in several languages, or so four languages, oh, five languages, yes, because yes. you have Brazil too. Yes. And uh, try to put them together in a way that uh, it can be well. Uh, well, listen. Well, this is good, yeah. isn't it? Yes. And of course, you're the right person to be doing this because you were involved with tourism in Paris, I think. Yes, yes. Now, what did you do with tourism in Paris? Because I was looking for... Um, if I was looking. I was trying to... Uh, uh, make them happy in Paris, visiting things, yes. helping them with practical things. Yes. Uh, so I was in airports or station yes. to uh, welcome them. Oh, I see. Try to explain to them where buying stamps or uh, where to find something or some yes. other thing. Yes. So the practical thing. Yes. After that, a guide did was you coming. take? Oh, guide. You didn't yes, do the no, guide. I you didn't take. I was on the technical side. No technical side. And at the end, yes. I was bringing them back to uh, airports or yes. whatever, helping yes. them for check-ins and. Gosh, uh, that's a big job to so do. I met people from everywhere. Yes. And how long did you do that? Uh, two years, and yes. after that, I worked two years in um, in a company, tourist company. Oh yes. Yes. Well, that's very good, isn't it? So you you've got a lot of good experience. Yes. You, you yes. know what people like what they want to hear which is a tremendous um, uh, big thing really now uh, t tell me what you think about Felix though because here you've got uh, a European eye looking yeah. at Felix though what do you think of but Felix I really though? like Felix though because yes. I don't know it's peaceful yes. I can walk on my bag and don't be absolutely scared or petrified if yes. uh, someone is taking it away yeah. uh, I have to see five minutes walking Yes. I, uh, I can walk nearby the sea, and yes. uh, oh, it's absolutely wonderful. And mm. I like it because I can't compare Felix to Paris. You can't. No, it's not, impossible. It's impossible to compare. So I can't say, oh, this it's different. I I can if I cannot say that. So it's uh, it's what I like really. Yes, but you also had some bank experience. Tell me yes. about your bank experience. 
Oh, I was working on the um, uh, communication part of yes. the bank, so no banking at all. Oh, I see. It wasn't banking. <laughs> no, 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 it was communication. Yes. So it's uh, preparing some uh, uh, big uh, seminars or things like that. So. Yes. And tell me, what do you think is the biggest difference between uh, the Paris and Felixstowe? What, what do you find is... Uh, uh, I know it's a funny comparison, but I see we've got you here, we may as well so ask you So I can you say um, the noise. The noise? Now, the it's Paris so is so... quiet here, and yeah. when I go to Paris, I say, how could I live more than 40 years in that noise? Yes. But no, no, it's amazing. Yes. Pollution. Pollution, of course. You don't here I can breathe. Uh, it's uh, it's yes. uh, excellent for lungs. And <laughs> yes, yes. Well, so <laughs> many people um, come to Felixstowe to clear the lungs. Ah, really? It's and the uh, sea air does an amazing job. Yes. yes. And people are very, very nice. Yeah. Isn't there much crime in Paris? I think so. It is. Think, it's it's yes, similar to London, in effect. But I don't think they talked about that too much on TV no, because no. if they talked about people exactly what is happening yes. people will stay home but all big cities are the same unfortunately exactly. today exactly and what do you think about youngsters in uh, Paris as distinct from youngsters in Felixstowe or England well, how do you think they compare I think they are the same really. you think they're the same teenagers are all over all, the world the same all the same I see <laughs> well, that's right. do they have do they have a drink problem in Paris because in England you know, there's this binge drinking. I think we have to, yes. Is, now, is it the now, same? Yes. It's not now the... you... I remember that when I was 15 years old, we yes. were enjoying our parties without alcohol, without nothing. We without were just alcohol. enjoying it. Really? But really? now I think they need alcohol just to feel happy. And oh, I, I think it's a shame, really. Yes. But it's interesting because you're given the impression that because... You know, the French drink wine with every meal and uh, mm. it's uh, always... No, it's a little bit <laughs> too much. We don't have wine every meal, no, it depends. It's main, it's with uh, the main meals then, presumably. Yes, yes, yes that's yes. right. But it's far more, you know, it's in general use more than in this country. Mm -hmm. And yet, yet that's given us the reason for the binge drinking. You yes. see, this is what the problem is, mm. where the youngsters think it's it's good to go out with a bottle of vodka, buy a bottle of tea yeah, vodka, uh, and it's consume very, it. Mm. And, and, and it's strong alcohol, which is... Uh, very bad. It's really bad. And it's they really have bad. the same problem in Paris, that's what I'm trying yeah, to get at. Yeah, I think at. so, yes. And yes. you think it's all over Europe? Yes, same. I think. Isn't that interesting? Because I thought a lot of people think it's just confined no, 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 to... No, no, no. England, uh, but we uh, have the same problem in it's, it's with alcohol and teenagers. I think it must be a form of escapism, really. Yes. People are trying to get away from themselves. Instead of trying new things, new sports, or new passions, or new hobbies, yes. I think it's yes. uh, it's sad. Well, this is. Are you into any sports at all? Or? Yes, I, oh, I forgot. Yes, I'm. Um, I'm having gym every two days. You do gym every two days? Yes. Oh, that's why you're so fit, obviously. Where do you go for your gym? Uh, <laughs> the name is Gymophobics. Oh, it's really? for people that they don't like gym. Oh, really? <laughs> really? And, uh, and where is that base? In Felixstowe. In Felixstowe. Tell me something about that. I haven't heard they of it. They open in uh, September, last September, yes, so it's yes. really new. Yes. And it's just half an hour gym. Yes. And it's uh, ten exercises, three yes. minutes each exercise. Yes. And, uh, and that's it. So it's only and for women. Only for women. And yes. only for ones who don't like gym. Yes. What a very good idea. So it's, yeah, and, and where does great. this take place? It's just near the uh, Barclays, the little road. Oh, really? Yes. It's just in front of uh, the cafe in the corner. Yes. Well, perhaps on one of your shows, you'll bring them in as a guest yes, and why tell not? us all about it. Because why not? I think there'll be a lot of our viewers who oh. are very much like that. Yes, yes. No, no, it's a great thing. Really. Yes. What a brilliant idea. <laughs> so, um, but I understand you like Scrabble. Yes, a lot. Tell me something about your Scrabble activities. But I'm, I first met my partner playing uh, on Facebook Scrabble. Oh, Because really? you can play Scrabble with uh, people all over the world. Oh, yes, yes. And so we discuss, because you can discuss. Well, so, so you uh, play it on on. Yes, Facebook. you play online. Oh, and see. you don't have to play an entire Scrabble party. And with one specific person? Yes, you, you can play with 30 people if you want different yes, parties, yes. of course, different yes. games. And um, and that's it. And you play when you can. So you, if you want, if you can just play one word, you just play one word, and oh, that's I see. it. And it goes on. Like and this that. is where you met your partner. Yes. 
Isn't that interesting? So not only did Scrabble, you enjoy Scrabble, but it had practical yes, results so you for see, you. Exactly. That's very really good. But, but um, tell me a bit about your partner, because he sounds fascinating. He's, uh, um, but he's a, so he's a graphic designer. Yes, he right? really, really enjoys that. And it's what not he, what's it's he actually not... design? Gra- I hear this term, graphic designer. What does that so mean is, exactly? Um, what does he actually do? You have a creative part. Yes. Uh, because you can be asked to um, make some uh, uh, adverts or flyers. Oh, I see. Or, what sort of leaflets? Uh, yes, exactly. Oh, I see. Uh, new branding. Yes. A uh, new uh, logos if you need oh, I one. I see. Yes. Uh, so it's it's really a big. It's job. all all designing, print designing. Really, this is what it there is. There is the print at the end. Yes. But he's creating his it's own. Cre- uh, isn't that yes, good? So of course, clients want something. Yes. The, the customer decides what they want, yes. but uh, yes. he's, uh, he's uh, more creative than yes. nothing else. And does he do this as his own business or is he working? Yes, he's self-employed. Is he? Gosh, that's... And uh, he has his website now yes. because uh, he can create websites. What is his too. website so people can look at it oh, if they great. want to? So it's uh, www.new-brand.co.uk yes. uh, Well, they can remember that. I shall go and have a look at that <laughs> myself because it's always fascinating yeah. to and learn new things. He's working, he's doing a catalogue every six months uh, because of the print office in Paris yes. for the Bon Marché, which is the equivalent of Harrods. Really? So oh. Now he's, um, oh, so he's, he's an international... Two, yes. Yeah, well, this yes. Is, is good. And what nationality is... English. Oh, he's he's English, a right. Ipswich native, yes. Really? And does he speak French? A little bit, I not a lot. Yeah. I, we are speaking English teaching. together. But he manages to design things for the Bon Marché. Yes, yes. So he must have a... Or I suppose you, he runs it all by you, does he? No, 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 he's working by... Uh, oh, by yes, he yes, does, yes, that's yes, very no, good. That's great. But at any rate, I think we've, we've had a fascinating discussion and I think you're going to have a great future ahead of you with... Uh, Um, uh, Felix Lowe TV and the radio because hopefully uh, after this meeting Mm -hmm. we've got a meeting with the Felix Lowe radio and hopefully we're going to set you up um, because of course now we're Mm -hmm. amalgamating we're Mm -hmm. coming under the same umbrella Mm -hmm. and it'll be a great benefit having the and another first for Felix Lowe having their local radio and their local television under the same under the same umbrella so it's going to be great so you're coming in at the right moment because this is introducing European thought and mm-hmm. cosmopolitan things over to you know, the new, new image that we're trying to create. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be so important. So we're very happy to have you aboard Thanks doing this. Thank you. Now, somewhere, I'm hoping, we've got a bottle which I'm just going to open so we can all have a drink to w- w- celebrate the new Felix Stowe uh, studio, TV. the Gainsborough studio, because, I mean, it's Gainsborough because, mm-hmm. obviously... There's the old um, picture of the woman um, from the Gainsborough portrait, ah, yes. and that's how mm-hmm. it came about to be called the Gainsborough Studio, the original one. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it's all been pulled down now. They produced the Hitchcock films. Ah. They produced a tremendous number of wonderful films mm-hmm. in the 40s mainly. Yes, yes. And so we're hoping we're going to keep on that tradition. But uh, I think we've got a bottle here. So now, ah. so here we are. <laughs> let, 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 let us open this. Do 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 they open bottles like this in the same way? You twist the bottle and not the cork, don't you? Exactly. The same, same, in, same, same. In, same. That's good. So, nah. well, <coughs> well, there we are. What a nice. Why, why come under your ear for luck? Ah. The cork, yes. How we do that? No, under your ear. Oh, under yeah. your, uh, that's the that's the old English idea. Oh, it, you, you always do that for luck. We haven't got the proper glasses. Good luck. But. There we are. Thank you. Let's, let's give our cameraman, Terry. Come on, have a have a and we'll send one through for Mike. <laughs> and this is to the great success for for Felix Stowe Radio, Felix Stowe Television and the Gainsborough Studios. There's for Mike. <laughs> now we're getting there. Great success. Great to, success. To, to to all of us. God bless you all. Thank you for looking and I hope you've got great things ahead of you and thank you for all your kind comments. We do appreciate it and thank you for putting up with all our glitches and the troubles we're having in changing studios. Thank you and goodbye from me and goodbye from Sophie. Bye bye. God bless you you and thank you.